when I come as mayor of Kabul, I saw we have a lot of challenges. One of the journalists asked me, what's your priority in, in, in your program? I told uh, we have a lot of parallel priorities because the city is completely destroyed, infrastructure of the city is completely destroyed. Uh, and also, the organization in Afghanistan, particularly in Kabul, and the growth of the population was not due to the industrialization of the country. It was due to the uh, economical immigration. A lot of people, they lost their activities, their agricultural works, and their, uh, they cannot make some food for their family. They started to move to the capital to have some food, to, to have some work. Because that uh, from 2001, up to 2013, the population grew from 1.2 million to 5 million. It makes a big challenge. A, a, a big challenge in the, in, for the uh, uh, common municipality to provide services for this kind of unplanned growth of the city. And also, due to the uh, very huge uh, bureaucracy of the government system, to take the permit for the construction for the housing, it was very difficult. Uh, that somebody, if he wants to take some um, permit for the construction, it was needed to take 620 signatures. This the main, and each signature he must to go, he pay some money like that. Because that the, a lot of people started to build illegally unplanned houses. The, Unplanned houses in the city grew up to 70%. The, another challenge was uh, the, the road construction problem. All the roads of the Kabul city was destroyed. You cannot see, it, it was difficult to, to find some two kilometer roads, which was um, more normal for the user. We started uh, to rebuild the roads how we can rebuild, because in Kabul municipality, we had two another challenge. First, the human capacity. The second, second the machinery capacity. A lot of people in the Kabul municipality was involved in the corruption. When I became as a mayor of Kabul, I announced 23 item program for Kabul city. The first item was to fighting against the corruption. But all the powerful peoples, they leave Kabul. All the uh, land mafia, they are very strong in the city. And they, they cannot uh, give, uh, they, they didn't let us to do our programs normally. So if, what did you do? Yeah, if we want to open some street or to extend the rules, the acquisition was another challenge because the people doesn't want to acquisite their land according to the <coughs> law. The, the, another problem was the, the human capacity. I announced through to the TVs, to media, that the Kabul municipality is ready to select all the high educated peoples who wants to work with us. In two years, I selected 550 new graduated girls and boys, and I designed a three years capacity building program for them. Uh, this year, we sent 18 our engineers for the master degree to Japan with the assistant of uh, JICA. The, we started to, to build the capacity, the human capacity. Now we, we are in the, a little in the better condition. Environment also was one of the problems. The city was very dusty. Garbages was uh, were everywhere. And the capacity of the sanitation department was very limited. We in, uh, increased the machinery capacity. Uh, during this, the two years, I can purchase $30 million machinery. Or to, to increase the capacity of the machinery. 
now we have 21.5 million dollars under uh, procurement uh, process to, to purchase machinery for that. There was not to work just to rebuild the city. At the same time, we fight against the land mafia, against the corruption. It was a very difficult and, and we lose a lot of times for that. The income of the city was also the problem. You know, the people who grew in the uh, planning economy in the system, they are thinking all the services must to be provided by the government and nobody is not uh, responsible to pay some money for the government. We come from the planning economy system to the market economy. It was needed to learn the people to pay for the services. It was also very difficult. Slowly, slowly, in three years, we can increase our income 300%. But it's growing every year, slowly, slowly, but we cannot suddenly increase that. The capacity of the revenue is very big in Kabul, but we cannot to, to push, to put all the responsibility to the people because they will not be able to pay for that. We started to discuss with the donor community. One year it take to, to make and ensure the donor community that we are fighting seriously against the corruption. After that started the, the contribution of the donors. We had some uh, assistance from the Abu Zabi Fund from, from the UAE, Emirates, from uh, UCID, Turkish government, European Union, and World Bank, and JICA from Japanese government. They assessed a lot of projects. Right now, in the same time, we are working on, on 153 projects during the day and night. I feel if, if uh, I must pay for, for this, uh, to rebuild the city. If it is needed, my life, if it is needed, my health. I work up to four o'clock in the morning on the site. Four o'clock I went home, eight o'clock come back to the house. All the cowboy citizens, they, they, they know that how we can very hardly start to work to rebuild. The, the solid the, the pollution in the uh, Kabul environment in 2009 was 305 microgram per meter cubic. But now it's come to 152 microgram per meter. Uh, I think the 150 is the normal uh, standard. Uh, during this four years, we can uh, re uh, rebel and extend the new roads 500 kilometers. We started to plant the trees. We, we already planted 4,631,000 trees. And uh, the loss was 2%. We started to, to build the drainage system. The people was not sure that cobble can be can grow that much very fast. Uh, at, the, uh, at the beginning, when I uh, announced, I have planned to build the first overpass bridge in the Kabul city. Uh, I saw in the TV somebody says, all these uh, pro propagands uh, cannot be ensure us. A lot of people can be told a lot of things. But we already built six bridges on the river. And uh, we discussed uh, with the donors community also. The security was one of the biggest problem in the city. The city was... Could you elaborate a little bit on that? Because I find it fascinating that uh, your story about reconstructing the city and, and the infrastructure and service delivery. Now, reading Dutch newspapers, we hear, of course, attack by Taliban, you know, a suicide attack by Taliban. How did you deal with that? And would you say that working on infrastructure and service delivery is a precondition as well for making the city safer? And, and, and fighting insurgents and terrorist attacks? I think uh, 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 we have some defense uh, uh, the, the government.
governmental organization is different than others. The police is under authority of the Ministry of Interior, but how we can play for that to, uh, to increase the level of the security of the city? The city was completely dark. Three years ago and all around the Kabul city was not no one lamps during the night. We started to light the streets, parks, and some markets area. We used the LED system, light, uh, street lighting system. Smart lighting from Philips. <laughs> yeah, but no, from different. <laughs> the LED, because there is no pollution, that this is the energy saver saving system, because that we, we started to use the LED system lighting. Right now, uh, we already uh, lighted 170 kilometer streets in the city. The city became very secure, and also it's, it affects psychologically on the peoples. The peoples become happy. It makes happiness for, for, the, for the citizens of the Kabul. Uh, right now, also, we have a lot of challenges. It's, it's not finished. We, uh, we have problem. In, uh, we had an uh, uh, old master plan of the city in, in 1978. Uh, this uh, master plan was looking for 1.2 million people <coughs> in the next 25 years. And also, the street was built, planned for 30,000 vehicles. But some of the street, because the security reason is blocked, and the number of the uh, cars in the city is 700,000. And it's increasing every day. 220 new cars, vehicles is increasing, uh, adding in the, in the uh, traffic system because it was needed to open the, the new roads and to, to extend the, the old roads. We already uh, uh, started to do that and to open some tunnels is under our plan. But the, the people has become ensure that the government can do something. Now they, they believe that if you are promising some projects, the people are 100% sure <coughs> If the mayor promised, it can be uh, happening. Yeah, now uh, the security level also has a better condition because the city is light. And also uh, the economical growth is very low <coughs> because when we light at the streets, the city, the people <coughs> can work four or five hours more than the normal time before the lights. It's increased the household incomes. It makes when the people has normal income, they, they can be entrusted uh, to the peaceful life. Because the, the, now the situation is not too big, but uh, we are working very hardly. And uh, right now in 153 different projects we are working. From here, I, I'm taking the report from the projects, how it's going on, where is, what is the condition, and also, the, the mafia is very powerful, the land mafia. We are fighting in the same time against the land mafia because when I come as a mayor of Kabul. Uh, how do you take on mafia? You know, <clears throat> this, this event is, is, in essence, it's about co conflict dynamics right? and, and, and what you do <coughs> in conflict dynamics at the city level. Um, very fascinating what you say about you know, infrastructure and service delivery. The, the political dynamics and elites that, that compete for power. Now, one is the mafia. So what do you do? You talk with the police? Uh, you know, when I, I became a senator of Kabul, I understand that this is a very uh, difficult job. And to fight against all these strong people is also very difficult. I purchased a piece of small land by my grab. If I die, I must to be here in, in, in this area. I send the message for the mafia how I am very serious regarding the violence against the corruption and against the mafia. They try to, to uh, take the lands illegally and to build the uh, houses and to sell for, for the peoples. We stopped all that. Now, 
we are in the condition we I sent to the Jastic uh, to the zoo some of these peoples and their, uh, the, the zoo is make decision detect illegally these lands they must to give back to the Kabul municipality all the money they make some of these people started to uh, pay back this, this money some of they are not still ready but I'm sure we will take back. Um, thank you very much.